Done with sublimation. It's DTF forever. We're back. Listen, no. I did not throw it out. And the reason why I did not throw out this printer, you're gonna find out in this video right now. Okay, so you guys have seen us make videos on sublimation before. You have seen a lot of people use this exact printer and convert it. You've seen videos on our channel where we converted this printer, then we took sucked the ink out, then we put regular ink back into it. You can check out those videos if you want. You can go through all of that if you want. But we are here at Flash Custom Transfers now that we manufacture DTF transfers and sublimation. So before all of you guys get all upset, this is a sublimation gang sheet. We're the only company that I know of that actually makes a sublimation gang sheet. So before anybody out there gets upset and says, oh no, you're knocking sublimation. We're not knocking sublimation. We're just showing you the difference between professional grade sublimation printers and a regular printer that's converted into a sublimation printer. The difference is the quality, the size, and less maintenance if and if any maintenance at all. So this right here, this is an Epson 2720. I get so many people each day coming to the videos that we have helping you fix your 2720. Again, no, I could never throw this printer away because this ink right here is regular printer ink and we print all types of school projects. We print all of the instructions, well, We've kind of went to our label printer for instructions, but we still do, some of you guys are still getting instructions on how to press your DTF transfers with regular paper. So if this is your first time tuning in, my name is Carl, I'm, I'm straight out of content. My wife and I, we run our very big manufacturing company called Flash Custom Transfers and where we specialize in DTF transfers. Now, if you stumbled upon this video, because of the printer and you're like, I have that printer and the reason why I have this printer is because I'm looking for a way to do full color transfers but on dark garments. So say you wanna do a full color transfer on this red. Say you wanna do a full color transfer on this, um, on this cloth that goes over the table. You're not able to find that. Well, us, Flash Custom Transfers, we manufacture a product called DTF. So DTF is called Direct to Film. Here is one of our brand new 22 by 36 sheets. So as you can see, this sheet, sheet is 22 by 36. So it, it's basically one, one regular sheet. Our regular sheet is 22 by 24 for 19.99. And our 22 by 36 are only 24.99. So this right here, this is a 22 by 36. As you can see, you're able to fit four huge adult images and then a bunch of small ones on the bottom only for $24.99. It's an amazing process. It's a, this special adhesive on the back that adheres to anything and makes an extremely durable, very durable transfer. You can do high colors, uh, extremely well detailed images, way, way better than you can with sublimation, but sublimation has its purpose. Sublimation does have its purpose and I'm not here to knock that, why? Because we manufacture sublimation gang sheets. So if you are here on this video and you have this right here and you do sublimation projects, you do sublimation accessories, like that's really your lane, well we have this, we have a huge sublimation plotter, and we manufacture these just as well as we manufacture the DTF 
uh, transfers as well. So we just want to want everybody to know that we're not a lot of people know about our sublimation product. And then people I keep seeing uh, they're on our old videos and they don't even realize like, hey, we have a sublimation product and this one is only 15 bucks. It's only $14.99 for this sheet right here. And you can go, you can go into uh, Canva or AI, make sure with sublimation, you're gonna mirror. With DTF, you don't have to mirror, but with uh, sublimation, you can, you can use Canva. We have videos on Canva, how to set up your gang sheet. So you can use Canva, as long as you have Canva uh, Pro, you can go on there and you can set up your gang sheet, put the image there. What's great about uh, sublimation, it doesn't necessarily have to be in its, you know, it doesn't have to be a vectored image all the time. With sublimation, it can just be a high quality PNG. So there's a lot less, digital work that you have to do whenever you're working with sublimation. I just want to let people know that we have a beautiful sublimation pro uh, product that a lot of people can now go out there and instead of, look, look, how much, look how much size you get. Look, this is just one sheet of paper if you're using your converted DTF printer. Chances are you might be here because you're thinking about doing this because you saw it online or you've already done it and this printer has given you a headache, which it has done to all of us. It has definitely done that to all of us. So look how big this little sheet of paper is, right? This is all the sublimation product that you can get versus, so we're gonna do one, two, what is this, three? So three and three and 3.75, see how many sheets you can get out of just one. And you're not having to use your own ink. You can gang it out. You can get help with all types of images. We have a bunch of free images on the website. So this is six, basically six and a half, so about seven sheets. If I do half here and half here, so about seven sheets total. And again, if you wanted to do bigger prints, you can do that. So if you wanted to do a bigger print than, than a, um, an eight by 11, say you wanted to do an 11.7 by 16 and a half, that's, that's called a graphic T. That's a traditional graphic T size. You are able to do that with our, sorry about that. You are able to do that with our sublimation gang sheets again. You hear a lot of gang sheets in the, in, the, in the world of DTF transfers and screen print transfers. Other companies create their gang sheet and they have an 11.7 by 16.5 gang sheet. That's screen print transfer, not DTF, but at least, at least they even have a gang sheet. But you never hear the word gang sheet in the terms of sublimation. And that's what we're here to do, guys. Here at Flash Custom Transfers, we want to let all of you people out there who are interested in sublimation, everybody out there who is doing sublimation, you can create your own Tumblr templates, put it on here, print all the different Tumblr templates, print it, send it to you, cut it out, place it on your uh, on your Tumblr, and you can just go wild. So a lot of people don't know that we have this. I'm trying to really get you guys uh, some information out there so that you can know that you can come to flashcustomtransfers.com and right there on the first page, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see at $14.99 sublimation 22 by 24. Do not use this Epson 2720 to print sublimation. It's not designed for that. I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, do not do the same mistake that we have done on multiple occasions which I keep seeing over and over and over. And that's the reason why we made so many fix it videos. Shelly and I have so many, if Shelly has one that she did on Flash Custom Transfers, um, uh, YouTube as well, which is very viral. These are some of the biggest videos on the channel because this printer is not designed to do sublimation ink. And in fact, uh, a subscriber today, or I don't, hopefully they subscribed, they emailed me, no, they messaged on one of the videos letting me know like, hey, my printer doesn't look the same. I think that they did an update so that we can't do what you're doing. Because I have a video where I show you how to suck the sublimation ink out and then put the new regular printer ink back to convert it back. Because a lot of people get the sublimation ink and they put it in their printer and then they don't have as many jobs as they thought. And when you let that sublimation ink dry, it messes up the printer. So then you'll go to print and you'll only have like two or three colors. So we have a video on how to fix that. It's a pretty easy fix, but it does take a while because you have to clean the printer jet heads 10 times in a row consistently, and then it should get your color back. A lot of people are having even problems after that um, with their colors, not only uh, with their colors not coming out correct, but then it's not printing anything or it's just printing streaks and lines and stuff like that. So many people who aren't even on YouTube are having a problem and they don't even know how to get to YouTube to find a video to, to fix it. So again, this printer is an amazing regular printer. 
I will put the link to the in the description about this ink. This is just regular old printer ink. You get it from Amazon, comes with each color. Oh, comes with each color. Look, I haven't even opened these because we, we don't use all the other colors that much. Uh, look, these are brand new. They're not even open. The only one that's open is black. And look how much black you get. This is about this, this full. And all you do, and I have a video, I have a short on the uh, channel and a full video of all you do is just push this in. And if you're wondering, I have a full tank full of sublimation printer. How do I get the regular printer ink back in it? What you do is you just buy a kit like this. Like I say, you can click the link in the description down below. You fill it up. So wherever you're at on your, um, as far as your ink and your printer with sublimation ink, if it's full, like you're looking at mine and it's kind of full, just start printing on paper. Of course, it's gonna be faded. It's not gonna be as dark because the colors don't get activated, but just start printing with, uh, with regular paper until those uh, levels get low. And once they get to about halfway or, or lower than halfway, then you're gonna start filling it with regular printer ink. And then you'll start to see the colors come back, come back. And as you do that and keep cycling in printer ink, printer ink, printer ink, then all your colors will come back vibrant and you won't have to take apart your printer. You won't have to do anything like that that could potentially damage your printer long term. Trust us, we've been through it. That's why we have so many fix it videos. We were at the same point that you were at if you were watching this video as well, like, Oh my God, oh my God, I have this Epson 2720 or whatever model that you have and I've converted it and how do I get it back because it's not working. Again, if you are at that point and you want to continue with sublimation, we sell a sublimation gang sheet. If you don't know how to set up your gang sheet, email us at ordernowflashcustomtransfers.com. We would love to help you out. We, that is why we designed our business. Our business has is about customer service. A lot of companies that you go to, you send them their image, you send them your image, they're just gonna send you a bad image. They're not gonna let you know like, hey, this image quality isn't up to par. They require you to have your image up to par. We do not. If you send us a bad image, we're going to email you back politely and say, hey, listen, this image quality is at 72 DPI. And is we, when we sent you a screenshot and we, we noticed a little bit of pixelization, would you like to vector this image and raise it to its highest quality? Or would you like to proceed with printing? We are always going to do that with each customer. And maybe that may cause some types of delays. Maybe that may cause some types of hesitation or stuff like that. But again, that's what helped us grow our business and, and separate ourselves from the competition because all they want is you to pay and send your image. And if you don't do that, they're not gonna deal with you. And we never want it to be like that because we remember when we didn't have uh, you know, multiple DTF machines and, and sublimation plotters and sticker plotters and every all the other machinery that we have at the warehouse. When we didn't have that, when all we had was this heat press right here and this converted sublimation printer. And then when this went down, we're like, how do we get full color transfer? How do we do it? How do we get a full color transfer? And I'll show you another one right here, guys. How do we get full color transfers? Something that we don't have to weed, right? Everybody's been there with the, um, if you're tired of weeding, if you're tired of weeding and you want full color, high, high detail images, you wanna be able to basically print and go. You don't wanna have to, deal with you know anything else. You just wanna print your image and put it on the apparel. That's what we do here at Flash Custom Transfers. We try to answer all of your questions. And even if you don't need a product, so say you don't need sublimation, say you don't need a DTF transfer, say you don't need anything, all you need is just your image brought to its highest quality because you may have everything at home. Or you may, uh, today I was at UPS and a lady was trying to get something printed at UPS. And she was asking the people at UPS, can they make her image a higher quality? And the second I heard that, I said, oh, she needs a vector. She's looking to raise the resolution of her image, she needs a vector. And I told her, I said, ma'am, everybody in there are already knows who I am. They know me as Mr. Flash or, hey Flash. So I said, ma'am, um, I think you need, uh, I can, I'm overhearing you and um, I think that's pretty easy. We actually do that. All we would do, we would just vector the image. And she said, oh, you know what? I've heard of that term before. My husband is something, something, something for this uh, college baseball team. And I've heard that term before. So um, how much would it be for me to have you do that? I said, don't worry about it. Have, um, have the lady give you our card email us the image, we'll vector, we'll email it to you right back. She said, oh, really? I said, yeah, no problem. Just, just send it over to us, we'll knock it out for you. 
Again, that's what we want. That's what we do here at Flash System Transfers. Now, of course, if you got a if you got an image that looks like this and you screenshotted it from your phone <laughs> and then you sent it over to us and it's a low quality, it's gonna be a $15 vector fee because uh, uh, Marianne is gonna have to go in there and recreate the entire image um, in Photoshop. So, but there is a price for a vector fee if depending on the a complexity of the image. If it's a, if it's straight out of content, a black and white image, we'll probably just do it. We always try to do it first in-house. If it's quick, fast, we always try to do it. So please, if you have any graphic design questions, you can email us at order now at flashsystemtransfers.com because that is our flash graphics department. And we are working on our brand new logo so we can introduce the whole separate company, which is Flash Graphics. So you're not obligated, you're never obligated to purchase anything from the website. We actually encourage you to email us first with your questions before you spend a dime with us, okay? So I hope that this video answered a lot of questions. Again, no, we're not getting rid of this and we don't recommend you get rid of it. We just recommend you, can, you put the regular printer ink back in it so that you can use it for your everyday printing uses because everybody needs a printer. And then on top of that, we manufacture gang sheets, sublimation gang sheets. We manufacture those. So we have a sub, a lot of people have left a lot of comments, a lot of mean comments. Why are you knocking sublimation? Why are you knocking sublimation? We're not knocking it. We're just knocking the conversion. We don't, we're knocking converted DTF printers. We're knocking converted sublimation printers because it dilutes, it dilutes the high quality DTF product that we're not manually putting powder on the back of this in our house and stuff like that. No, there's a big oven, there's a big process and the ventilation goes to the ducts in the ceiling. There's a proper process to do this and then there's not a proper process to do this. So again, and a lot of people out there, this is their first time, they don't know the difference between a DTF transfer, which is on film, direct to film, that's what DTF stands for, direct to film, right? Direct to film and then sublimation, which is just paper. This is just sublimation paper. One is mirrored, one isn't. So this is how it looks. See? Because we got a lot of people who go onto the website and they'll purchase this because it's cheaper and they'll get this piece of paper and say, what the heck, this isn't what I ordered. So hopefully this video really answers a lot of questions. And I hope that it sparks a lot of questions down in the comments. Leave your questions down in the comments for me and Shelly so that we can answer them. We really wanna help educate. That's why I made so many videos today. They're all releasing today at the same exact time. So that you guys, and this is the longest video, but we just wanted to just educate as much as possible to help people as they go into the next year. I hope whoever sees this video, I hope that I brought you some value so that you're like, oh my God, I had so many questions. Thank you for answering those questions. Now I know the difference between a DTF transfer direct to film and a sublimation and what I can do with either. And if I need your help, I can definitely contact you. Yes, you can contact us. My name is Carl. My wife's name is Shelly and our, um, our graphic designer's name is Marianne. Please contact us at order now at flashcustomtransfers.com if you have any questions. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Please watch all the other videos. Um, and maybe we will be going live soon. Check out the lives as well. Thank you guys. Be basic. Peace.